Yo guys, what is going on? It is Super here, and we are continuing the Juggernaut Every Gun Show. We are using the Type 95 with Rapid Fire on Baccarat or Baccarat, whatever the hell you call it. And yeah, so you know, d my little thoughts on this gun is is overpowered as hell, especially with Rapid Fire. Like as one burst, even without it. But what are you know? It's pretty stupid. I don't know, but. Uh, I don't know, I find it extremely weird how it takes the shit, how it just takes one burst to kill him, compared to the M16, that takes like two bursts, but shouldn't even be, it shouldn't even be like that, M16 should be more powerful than the Type 95, or b at least be equal, like, they should have buffed, no, they should have nerfed, I'm not sure if buffed, or they should have nerfed the Type 95 and buffed up the M16 a little bit. But, you know, whatever, it's pretty stupid. And that was, I don't know why I was just being retarded. And this guy was, like, playing retarded ass music, as you're gonna hear it. And I'm done. Awesome. So, I guess this is gonna be a story of some sorts. I guess that the time I almost got mugged by a fat chick. This was just, this was the thing I was saying about in commentary like two videos ago or something. So, <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny, though. So, Alright, let's get it started. So, my town is a hellhole. I don't like it. All the people may like it, but I cannot stand this town. I just want to move, move out of this shit. We have shitty internet. Ghost even knows of that, because Ghost always tells me to get on, but my internet sucks ass crack. And everything like that. So, there's shitty internet. I'm, I'm not sure if I was hosting this here, too, by the way. So, we have shitty internet, and our town is full of fucking criminals. Our main source of transportation is a three-wheeled, uh, is a three-wheeler or an ATV, <laughs> or both. Sometimes with snow, a snowmobile, which is retarded. It's pathetic as hell. Like I don't know, it's just this place is full of bums and drunkies. I'm a drunkie. I'm I'm one of those drunkies sometimes. Not all the time, but I'm one of those at times. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know me at all. <laughs> it's funny as shit. I'm Irish Canadian, okay? I drink. Leave me alone. But <laughs> you got a problem? Don't judge me. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. So back to the fat chick situation. So one night I was—I was thinking it was like late at night. I had a few beer into me. I wasn't drunk, but I was kind of buzzed. I, was, I still didn't know what I was doing anyway. I know what was going on. So I was walking home and. It was a pretty, and it was like a, there's a dark place when I walk home. There's like the whole road is dark. You can, can't see anything, basically. Basically, you can't see the hand in front of your face. So, even when you FaceTime yourself, like, bam, FaceTime. But, yeah. So, I was walking home, skipping my merry way, my bottle in my hand, and I quit feeling gay. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's just a little wrong, just for the shit of it. But, so, I was running, I was walking home. Then I was like, I had a, this strange feeling, even though when I, was, I was buzzed, I uh, still so had a strange feeling that um, someone was following me or like stalking me. I was like, uh, what the shit? I don't feel too safe right now for some reason. And I get FMG, so fuck you. So, there's something, I don't know. So, I began to just, like pick up the pace and look around and behind me and everything. First thing I seen was something big. So, I, I thought it was like some fat guy. I don't know. It, yeah, there was like some fat guys in my town. So I thought I was a fat, fat guy at first. And then I was like, um... Then just her, her, whatever it hell is, started running. Which is fucking, uh, I was just thinking about this after I got done. It was fucking funny, because a fat chick running yeah, at you. I, I, I was like, oh my yeah, god, what the fuck, I, got, I almost got mugged by a fat chick. Defense Are you freaking kidding me? And like, I'm pretty fast too, like, so I didn't run. I thought she like needed me for something, so I went, I went on my merry way, skipping along, and basically I was like, okay, so I look back, she keeps running at me, slow as hell, but technically running for her. I was like, okay, what the fuck, I'm getting stocked, I think, or I'm gonna get mugged. I, I think it's more like a stock. It's probably someone, they probably knew me, because basically everyone in town knows me, and I know everyone in town. But this chick wasn't even from around here when I first got a glimpse at her. 
So as she got closer, uh, I started to notice her a bit more because we back, we got back into the loot and I was like, what the QAV hell? Online. Then she just yelled, Q don't confirmed. even move another step. I was like, uh, I'm going home. You know, I'm planning on walking to going home because whenever someone just says random stuff that makes no sense, I just like go sarcasm and salt up on them and it makes me feel like shit. So I was like, yeah, I'm going home and you know, home is that away straight ahead of me. It's like two to three hundred, like about another half a kilometer in front of me, okay? So I'm not gonna stop now just because of some ugly fat chick fucking, you know, got me trying to, trying to tell me to stop. I was like, I'm not gonna stop because of you. Like, fuck you, I was I could, like, whatever, I can like walk on. So I began to walk on and then I felt something sharp poke at my back. And I was like, well, oh fuck. I knew in a tangle he does eventually someone's gonna get fucking mugged, but I didn't know it was gonna be me. It's funny because I don't, don't go, go outside often. Often, I was just like, this is one of my nutties I actually wanted to go out with my friends. Slide in a few brewskis, but we don't usually drink outside, but it was warm and it was the summer. And I had monies, because I was on that student work thing, as I told you, on my Super Devil 3 channel. I had the monies to go and, you know, have some parties and shit. So, it was like, I turned, she said, don't even turn around. I was like, you're that fat chick with was following me, right? And then I felt even more going into my back. I was like, I called you, f I'm sorry for calling you fat. She's like, I'm pretty self-conscious about my weight. I was like, just thinking in my mind. This fat chick is trying to fucking mug me. How pathetic is that? I can outrun this piece of shit. Uh, yet I'm getting mugged by it. I'm like, oh my god, you kidding me. So, as uh, we progressed, I was there for about 30 minutes. And with a nice point at my back. Pointed into my back. It was like, I was breaking skin. I was starting to hurt. I was like, you know, what the hell do you want from me? I want your money. I was like, uh, I work hard for my money, and there's no way in fucking hell you're gonna mug a 16-year-old for money. I was 16 years old at the time, by the way. You're not gonna mug me for fucking money. I'm not giving you my money. It started getting in deeper, so eventually, like, I'm a fast dude, and I'm pretty strong, too. Like, I don't wanna brag, but I could pinch, like, 210 to 220 around right there. It's pretty good for someone that work on a long ass time. So I was like, fuck you, you're not getting you're not getting me. So it sucks for you. So I eventually just like went around. I swung my elbow, hit her hand that had the knife. It knocked the knife out of her hand. And you know, like she tried to pick it up. And when she was picking it up, I took off like a bullet. Like a bullet was like extremely fast. I was like, fuck you. I'm going fast as hell to get away from you. Some fat chick is trying to mug my ass. She threw the knife. Ironically, it hit the handle hit the back of my leg. I was like, <laughs> "You think that's gonna fucking hurt me?" I was like, "Wow, you hit me with a fucking handle." I was like, you're, "You're pathetic, man." And you know, like, eventually, I'll have a picture of her while she looks like on screen. Just saying, uh, I'm just kidding about. Nah, I'll show you. I'll show you what she looks like. So, eventually. Uh, I got away. I got to my house in less than like two, twenty, like twenty minutes, twenty minutes, two minutes. And it was pretty fucking funny. I found it so hilarious how fat chick tried to mug me. I don't know. It was pretty funny as hell, guys. If you guys like that story and you want me to make more, just let me know by leaving a rating and a comment saying "super." Oh, please make more, and you'll make me so moist. I want to flap off to you. But and here you go. Here's a picture of chick to try to mug me. Hope you guys enjoy.